Good morning, everybody. We're just leaving Summit, South Dakota. On our way to Calgary, but we're stopping by the house on the way. So we'll be at the house tonight. Just pulling onto the freeway I-29 North here. About to haul some donkeys today. About five and a half to six hours of driving. Along this road for 419 kilometers. Well, about four hours from the Canadian border. Shouldn't take too long. This this load I have behind me, this steel that I showed you in yesterday's video. If you haven't watched that, go back and watch that. The steel has like some special requirements for me to do at the border. I gotta go talk to the broker at the border and get some special paperwork for it to be cleared. So it's a little different and hopefully it won't take too much longer than usual crossing into Canada. Good morning, everybody. So we went home for the night and uh, we're here in, well, close to the border. I was gonna say Brandon. We're pretty much at the border with Saskatchewan. We're still in Manitoba. We're at this little rest area here. And uh, we got some, some very unfortunate news for you. There's white stuff falling from the sky. I don't like it. It's ugly. Oh, we gotta go out in it too. Okay, Weasel, you ready? You ready, buddy? You would? Okay, he's ready. Oh, oh, nice fresh air though, that's for sure. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. Yep, turns out we still live in Canada. Yep, okay. That's cool. Western Canada, Eastern Canada is probably still all nice and toasty warm right now. Western Canada's getting snow. All right. How about it, Diesel? You wanna go outside and we get on down the road before the snow buries us? What do you think? I think that's a marvelous idea, man. So I had to break out the winter jacket, mostly because I forgot my vest at home. But I got this. So at least I'm reflective and shiny. People can see me and hopefully won't run me over and kill me. But other than that, yeah, it's, it's getting chilly, but that is, it is that time of year. Uh, we already had our first snowfall, but all that snow that we had a few weeks back, that all melted like, uh, like I figured it would. So this is our first normal snowfall, I think. It's only a few months, you know? October, is that not actually that cold yet? It gets colder. October? November, December, they're okay. They're not, don't worry about those months. If you're new around here, don't worry about those months. Even the first week or so of January, meh. It's the last two weeks of January, first two weeks of February. That's when hell freezes over. I'm not looking forward to that. That's when you have to make sure you use a diesel fuel anti-gel fuel conditioner in your fuel. Make sure that your fuel doesn't melt because it gets so cold that your diesel fuel will actually turn to jello if you don't put conditioner in it. It's happened to me more than once. It's terrible and it leaves you stranded in the middle of a very cold winter and your truck doesn't run. So uh, that's what we have to look forward to. But the best part about it is that after spring comes and then summer comes so it doesn't last forever it's part of life up here then you learn to love it i act like it's all this big deal like i hate it i don't hate it. It, it it's part of life i actually enjoy the winter because it purifies the land right hold on 
telling a story. It kills off all the terrible, evil, poisonous bugs and things that want to kill me. What? Oh, me and Britt are talking about setting up the Christmas tree soon. Not yet, not yet, but a couple of weeks. And she's all excited. But, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the, the, the cold comes in and it kills off everything. So we have really no poisonous animals up here. I can go walking right through the long grass and not have to worry about a snake biting me. All we have are garter snakes. They, they're not poisonous. There's nothing really here that's poisonous enough to kill me. I mean, you go further west into BC where it doesn't get as cold and you got black widow spiders and more poisonous snakes and here in Manitoba, it keeps the riffraff out, you know? Humans and animals. They just stay away because it's way too cold. No one wants to live here, not even wildlife. They don't want to live here. That's why I live here. <laughs> I like my peace and quiet. Well, it's time to get going. My dad is on his way to Edmonton and he's just uh, probably about an hour ahead of me right now. He just messaged me to tell me that it's snow blowing over the road over there so probably pretty much the same as this here but he also said that there's uh clear Can skies ahead of him this road for 11 kilometers the, no we're still in the rest area karen i don't know where you're going i'm going to calgary heart of the new west that's their slogan right is that still their slogan or was their slogan last time i checked heart of the new west Let's get out there. Hopefully it doesn't get too bad, but if dad says there's clear skies ahead of him, that's just a couple of hours ahead of me. So we just gotta make it through this little uh, kerfluffle of weather here. What was that? Ah, whoa. Ha! Don't make those sounds at me, grumpy truck. I don't like it that it's snowing either. I think I need to get my uh, windshield wiper motors replaced soon. When they're cold, they do that. They scream at me. Brakes. <laughs> Just 
let the wind slow me down. Wow. Just pulling into Mooseman here. Gonna go say hello to Timmy Hawes. Grab myself a coffee. Some breakfast. Maybe they got those uh Belgian waffle uh what are they what do you call them things again? It's like a it's like a biscuit, but instead of having a biscuit, it's like a little Belgian waffle. I don't know what it's called. It's delicious though. It's just off here to the left. I wonder if they're putting electric car charging stations here as well. They have them in Whitewood, which is the next town over, heading meters. west. Turn right on. Broadway Avenue. Calm down, Karen. No one cares right now. We go get our Timmies. I don't think they're getting them here. I wouldn't be surprised if they did eventually, though. As like we were talking about in the past, uh, Canada is developing the Trans-Canada Highway from coast to coast into an electric highway, where you'll be able to have regular electrical charge-ups. I guess, I guess you can do a cross-country road trip then in your Tesla. Good for you. I'm going to wait as long as I can before getting an electric vehicle because I want other people to test it out for me. I want them to work all the bugs out before I buy one. I wouldn't mind having a Tesla, but they have a version of the pickup truck that they're working on right now, but it's so ugly. It is ugly. I want a tough looking pickup truck that looks just as good as my pickup truck if I'm gonna buy an electric one. And it better be four wheel drive and have all the same capabilities and towing capabilities. That's what I was wondering too. Like if I wanna tow my travel trailer across the country, how would I do that with an electric vehicle? What am I gonna have to stop every hour for a like, eight hour charge? So many questions. I don't trust it yet. I don't trust it yet, but I'm willing to see where it goes. I'm willing to see where it goes. Everybody else, you guys can all go buy your electric vehicles. Let me know how it goes. Maybe, maybe one day they'll convert me. Maybe. Oh, they put a fence back here now. We can't park back here anymore? Is that not their property? Oh, what's this? Look at this. They got these little poles here. I bet you they're building an electric charging station there. Speaking of. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I have an open mind, okay? I have an open mind. But I'm not sold on it yet. And I don't guarantee I ever will be. Ow! Potholes! Man, maybe spend spend some money into fixing these potholes instead of building a little fence. I don't know. Just a thought. Alright. 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 Woo! It's gonna be a good day now. It's gonna be a good day now. Got myself a uh, sausage and bacon wrap. Oh, and there's a hash brown at the bottom, too. So the hash brown, I'm gonna have that right now. And for dessert, got myself a honey cruller donut. Mmm. 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 Myself a large coffee, two cream, and a shot of espresso in it. Just to make sure it tastes like coffee, because Tim Hortons doesn't know how to make real, real coffee. I know, I'm. that was just a sin against all things Canadian, I know, but... Oh, their coffee doesn't taste... Their coffee tastes like coffee-flavored water. Excuse me for talking with food in my mouth. I'm hungry. But their dark roast is a little better, so I got dark roast with a shot of espresso. Gives you that extra little pow! right in the face that you need in the morning, you know? You know, kick right in the face. Right, Diesel? Pow, right in the face. There's a pow, right in the kisser. Yeah? Pow! Oh, you want this? Oh, I get what you want. So I checked my weather app while I was stopped there, and apparently this wind is not gonna stop until we get near Calgary, so this will be an all day thing. 
And no wonder it's so windy out here. Look at this, they got the big fans turned on again. They keep doing that. They need to start blowing the wind the other way to help me out a little bit. It must be nice going the other direction, going east right now. You can practically just put it in neutral and let the wind push you home. <laughs> just shut the truck off, leave it in neutral. Let the wind take you, you know? Yeah, this is going to be an expensive day. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Somebody in Calgary needs their steel, and I've got it for them. They need me there at 12 noon. Not a minute sooner, not a minute later. Apparently they have the police there. I was telling you this already, right? Yeah. I don't know why, but we're gonna find out. I'm very curious why they'd have the police there, but if I show up early, they're gonna give me a find. Not very many people can say that they'll actually get a fine from the police if they're early to work. I wonder if they'll find me if I'm late too. Oh, that's pressure. 12 noon on the button. That's when they want me there. Found ourselves in Swift Current, Saskatchewan, and naturally found ourselves at Walmart. I needed groceries, what? And I just like Walmart. I was really low on food, and by low I mean I was out. No food, no water in here. And I don't like to do that, because what if I become stranded, right? What if I get stranded? No food, no water, that is a recipe for not a very pleasant time. So we're all set now for the next couple of weeks, or next week anyway. I don't like taking too many groceries with me because I just don't have the room and my fridge is really small. So, it is what it is. Take the entrance to the ride on Highway 1 West. How do I get on Trans Canada here? Is this the Trans Canada? Here we go. Number one, west. We want to continue going west into beautiful, beautiful Alberta. We should be there in a, a couple hours. We still have about five hours of driving to get to Calgary. I'm going to be getting there pretty late, but I don't deliver until noon tomorrow, so there's that. Not a minute sooner, not a minute later. So we're not in too big of a rush. Get back on the highway here and continue our trek. 